All right, how's everyone doing? Welcome to From Z to A, Alphabetical Interviews with Zach Anderson. I am Zach Anderson. Today we're here at Sage Sound Studios for the 53rd edition of Monsters of Acoustic Rock, and I am joined by Aaron Rock. Hi. Hello. Uh, so uh, I'm going to ask you the difficult questions, as long as it has something to do with the letters of your name. Uh, so we'll start with E. Uh, is there anything essential you must do in order to get ready for a show? Do you have any pre-show rituals? Not really. I just make sure I have my capo. <laughs> the amount of times I've forgotten my capos, yeah. <laughs> I never had, though. A friend of mine forgot hers for her own album release, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just the capo and... Uh... Yep, that's, that's pretty much it. All right. Um, and uh, now, when coming up with a set list order, uh, do you tend to plan things out meticulously ahead of time, or do you tend to... Uh, just make it up on the fly or change things depending on how people react to certain songs? There was a time when I experimented with pre-set set lists, mm -hmm. but mostly I just show up, I try to figure out what I'm opening with. It's for me the openers and the closers are yeah. the main things that I want to be specific. And besides that, I just go by feel and by um, what I feel like playing next, although sometimes I do get stuck, so. Mm -hmm. So that's probably not the worst idea, but. No, it's, yeah, it's, uh... It's it, it's various person to person. I was very focused on set list, and then I completely just make it up on the fly now. Mm -hmm. I feel more comfortable doing that. Yeah. Too much too much brain. <laughs> um, and uh, when composing a song, do you tend to start with uh, music, melody, lyrics? Uh, does it vary song to song? So this question really messed me up because I wrote <laughs> a song very recently, and I don't remember what I started with. All I can really say is that I know when I start with just words, it doesn't uh, tend to amount to much because I have a, quite a few documents of, of depressing work poetry that mm -hmm. I have not turned into songs. All right. So I think it's important to like you know have the guitar near you and maybe start with something melodic mm -hmm. for me. But I couldn't tell you the last song I wrote what came out first, like the chord or the, the yeah, word yeah. or what. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, and uh, what would you say has been your favorite uh, or or the most unique compliment you've received uh, while playing a gig? I recently received a compliment that my originals, there was something special about them, something about he couldn't put it into words, but the musicianship showed through, so it's always nice when people are appreciating your originals during co mm -hmm. a cover gig. I also got a tip from a gentleman the other weekend that said, I don't really care for live music, but wow. here's the tip. I think that's a, that's a good one right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I do agree with the guy about your originals. Um, and uh, 2023 is pretty much over. Um, do you have any uh, New Year's resolutions musically uh, for the new year, uh, whether uh, writing, recording, gigging, uh, all of the above? I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's been two years since I've released anything, so I definitely would like to release a minimum of one song, but yeah. got some other stuff on the agenda, so we will see. And then yeah. Just keep playing new places. There you go. Well, I look forward to whatever uh, you do in the, the new year. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And uh, I like to end all my interviews with three interesting or random facts about yourself that many people may not know. All right, all right. I'm prepped for this one. I was born breached without a C-section. Okay. So that's rather unusual. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My brother lives in Japan. All right. You might, you might have already known that. Yes, but... And then let's Jealous. see. The last <laughs> interesting thing. Um, I think I was just going to say that I didn't start playing guitar until college. Okay. 2017. What sparked uh, your interest at that at that time to start playing? <laughs> the pace of me trying to remember my own life. Um, I mean, if you can take a like a class in college that's like a little different, mm -hmm. I think I just probably thought, why not? Yeah. I don't know if at that point the duos that I was trying to not learn like weren't really working out, so that was probably motivation. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, if you want to check out Aaron Rock, please visit the link below. And now we'll cut to a performance from Aaron. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon.